When my family and I made the move from California to Boise, Idaho, there were a few things we didn't account for. In this video, I want to share with you my top nine things you should be aware of before buying a house in Boise, Idaho. It goes without saying that Idaho can get cold, very cold. And depending on where you're moving from, that transition may require some adaptations to home ownership. One of the most important adjustments you'll want to understand is the need to winterize your sprinklers and your pool if you happen to have one. This requires you to blow out any standing water from your sprinkler system and irrigation lines. You do this usually around the middle of fall. If you're handy, it's totally something you can do on your own with an air compressor. If you aren't handy, there are plenty of companies around the valley that will come out and do it for you. Same goes for winterizing your pool. Once the weather cools down and you won't be using it anymore, the equipment is turned off and the water is removed from the pipes. Although my husband may feel comfortable blowing out our sprinkler lines, we definitely hire professionals when winterizing our pool. Continuing with the winter theme, you'll need to disconnect your garden hoses from your exterior hose bibs prior to freezing temperatures. We usually do this around the same time as blowing out our sprinklers, just so that we know everything has been done. What happens is when temperatures drop below freezing, residual water left in the hose will freeze too. And that water may expand until it bursts the supply pipe leading to the hose bib. And that causes issues inside your walls. It doesn't happen often because neighbors remind neighbors, but sometimes fresh transplants don't heed the warning. I know I like to reach out to my clients who move from warm weather states to be sure they know what to do. I never paid much attention to my rain gutters when living in California or Nevada, but here they play a more significant role. They keep rain and melting snow away from your home and foundation. And weather tends to be erratic in Idaho, so it will rain at the craziest times. But the thing with gutters, or at least gutters in Idaho, is they do require some maintenance. Not a lot, but they can get clogged. And it may not even be the pieces of the rain gutter that are attached to your roof line, the downspouts that feed into the underground drains that push water away from your house and into the yard, those can get clogged and backed up. And then it renders your gutters less effective. So you wanna keep both the rain gutters and the drains free from getting clogged. Again, if you're handy, you've got this. If not, plenty of professionals to hire out there. Another very Idaho-centric thing that we discovered once moving here was the significance of east or north-facing backyards. It's not a feng shui thing, but from about May through September, the sun doesn't go down until nine or 10 o'clock at night, and it can burn very bright and very hot. Now, for those with west-facing backyards, like my mom's house, you will get the brunt of the sun during the summer, which may require blackout shades or some sort of awning. But of course, during winter, that extra dose of sunshine through your windows may help improve your mood. So it's definitely something to be aware of when searching for a home in Boise, because depending on how you live in your home, that may affect how you want your home situated on a lot and which direction it faces. So long as we're still talking about the sun, if you're a parent that abides by strict bedtime, even during summer or at the start of school year, it may be difficult to adjust to the 9 or 10 p.m. sunset. So then maybe you want bedrooms facing east and you're not concerned with where your backyard is facing. Everyone's gonna visit you. They just are. Friends you haven't talked to in 25 years will suddenly reach out because you now live in a state known for skiing, fishing, rafting. So if you weren't planning for that extra guest room, it may be something to consider. Or maybe you can throw a futon in that office of yours. But I am warning you now, plan ahead because they are coming. And so long as we're discussing what you might need in your new home, don't forget about extra garage space. And I say this for two reasons. If you're moving from a warmer weather climate, you're used to parking outside and you've been fine. But here, once winter hits, it's 
it's nice to be able to get into a warm car in the morning that's parked in your garage or not have to scrape ice off your windshield. And then the second reason you want extra garage space is for toys. Everyone in Idaho loves their toys. Even if you didn't have toys before moving to Idaho, you're gonna want them once you get here so you can adventure with your new friends. Obviously, an RV garage is ideal for an RV or a fifth wheel, but any extra space can be used for motorbikes and razors, boats and jet skis, or even kayaks and paddle boards. They all take up space in your garage. So if you can plan for the space before you need the space, you'll be in a much better place. Before I continue, I'm Erica Toffel, Global Real Estate Advisor with Group One Sotheby's International Realty. I specialize in helping families relocate to Boise, Idaho and its surrounding cities. If you need help with any of your real estate needs, send me a text or write me an email. My information is on the screen. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. Now the next few items are less about what you should know before buying a home in Boise and more about what you should know before moving to Boise. Because Idaho has winter weather, your animals may have to adapt to being indoors more often. In California, your dog may have spent most of his time outside, but once winter hits, he'll want to sleep inside with you. And if you're taking your dog for walks along the Boise Greenbelt or in the foothills, you'll want to be aware of ticks that can get on their body or goat heads that can get stuck in their paws. If you're relocating from another state, even if you've never had allergies before, there is a chance you'll develop them once you arrive here. We have different trees, we have different pollen, we have different allergens. I don't suffer from allergies here, but I know some of my clients do. Now, one client of mine, she swears by a whole house humidifier. Once she had it installed, she said it alleviated all of her allergy symptoms. So something to be aware of, or just know what plants are in your neighborhood. I know cotton trees along the green belt are especially troublesome. We don't typically have smog, but we do have two air quality events that can take place in any given year, and that can affect people with asthma. The first one occurs during winter. It's called the inversion effect. A layer of warm air traps cold, stagnant air below it, and that can sometimes affect people's breathing or even just their mood. The other event typically happens around the start of the school year. And that's when surrounding forest fires, even if they're in another state, dump their smoke into the Treasure Valley. Because of the summer heat, the smoke layer traps hot stagnant air below it. And this affects the air quality to the point that sporting events and other activities can get canceled. Has there been anything on this list you weren't expecting or you didn't think of? Comment below. I'd love to hear what else I should have included. The lower cost of home ownership is really one of those items that just ends up being a pleasant surprise for many when they arrive. Home and car insurance is significantly less. Property taxes can be less depending on where you're moving from. Utilities are low, like your energy bill compared to what you pay in California or your water bill they're next to nothing. So although people have an idea that the cost of living in Idaho is lower, they really don't understand it until they get here and they start paying for stuff. And then they see just how affordable Idaho really is. For more videos about relocating to Boise, Idaho and real estate tips in general, make sure to check out one of the videos on the screen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.